What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video event we'll play. Today we are playing High School Story Class Act Book 3. Um, sorry I'm a little late on this guys because um, work and stuff and holidays all that other stuff. So um, we're going to start Class Act today before the, before the year ends and also I'm going to be doing some reaction videos, maybe two or one, I don't know. But you'll see tomorrow or if you don't see one if you don't see any of the videos I just want to say happy new year to you guys okay with that being said let's dive in the clock is ticking oh, I got spit on my phone will you be able to save the school trip in time have you have you seen have you seen all the other books we've succeeded like a couple of times already let's begin Uh, oh, I thought it was going to take a while. It is the first day. Chapter 9, Race Against Time. <coughs> the week before the festival. Great, we don't have the money for our trip anymore, and our director's missing. Maybe we can beg someone rich, rich to fund it, like Amber, or... There's a loud thud against the door to the theater. You all freeze. What was that? A wild animal? Stand back. Casey and Eric grab planks and of wood and stand at the ready. As the door thumps again and greets open, AJ staggers into the theater, looking haggard, his hair is wild and his bloodshot eyes have dark circles under them. Everyone! God, I'll take him to the school nurse. AJ, lie down or something. We'll carry you to the office. There's no! There's no time! Get in my car! Now! Your car? Why? I was up all night searching for meaning for means to funding. And I finally uncovered a scholarship. Um, okay. By shaking hands, AJ shows you a web page on his phone. You, I, your eyes scan over the text stipulating the rules and awards. The Mayor Arts and Music Scholarship. This is a, this is great fine. A great fine if we're selected. It'll just barely cover our trip costs. Boy says the essay application was due this morning. I submitted it on Barry's behalf uh, seconds before the deadline. I pulled an all night, all night of perfecting it. That's our director for you. But then why are you kidnapping us? In addition to the written application, they're holding optional in-person interviews today to select the represent. Optional? To some people, maybe. But definitely not us. We should... We should go... Go and argue our case. AJ can't do it alone. Half crazed from sleep to depression like this? Yeah, we all owe it to ourselves to go. Where is it happening, AJ? At the Scholarship Foundation headquarters in Seattle. Wait a minute, what? Seattle? Are you serious? That's hundreds of miles away. I know. We'll drive. I know. We'll drive. Let's go. AJ, you can't drive in that state. You're too sleepy. I could drive five people, including myself. So, so can Rory and I. Everyone, let's split and go. Crap. This is really cutting it close. It'll be a long shot, but it's our best bet. And even if it, this doesn't work out, we can't give up. We're going. To, if we're going down, we're going. We're going down, kicking and screaming. Huh? Huh? I'm kidding. You check the directions on your phone as Rory speeds along the highway behind Aaron 
and Mar Maria's car. We'll arrive in four hours. Hopefully they'll still be holding interviews that late. They'd better. They're the only scholarship I could find that would award its represents in time for our trip. I didn't want to alarm everyone earlier, but this is literally our last hope. Hate to break it to you, but I'm pretty sure you, sure you, sure you alarmed everyone for unrelated reasons. Rory, ex Rory, accelerate into the lane besides side ours. It's completely empty. That's the oncoming lane. It'd be a ticket to heaven if not spotlight. Good thing we didn't let you drive. Even your back seat driving is suicidal. You should really take a nap. You're practically drunk from exhaustion. I can't. The adrenaline is keeping me awake. Wait. The cart speeds past the state. Past past the state line and continues hurling forth toward your destination. Da -da -da. Destination? What the heck? After a few hours nightfall, she spot the fellowship's headquarters and tapped Roy's shoulder. We're finally here. Parking. Parking. They want $20. That should be illegal. After parking in the Nova Price garage, you and your friends sprint into the Foundation's lobby. God, we're so late. You quickly find the conference room, but the door is shut. You can faintly hear another interview going on inside. We always wanted to start Croce Club for low-income students, and there's so many activities for us to compete with. I wonder what we, what can we do to stand out from the crowd? I did for Prosper Pro staff. It's finally. And working order so we can show it to the scholarship community. I brought a few prop stores to demonstrate our crew's artistry as well. Wait, I have a crazy idea. You all to this guy. She hastily takes her laptop out of her backpack. Like a plan for what? We sh what should we do? Say, say in there. Something like that. Listen, Aiden, I need your help. I'm at your service. What needs to happen? A few minutes later, a group of students emerge from the conference room. Our turn. Let's kill it in there, tigers. You're out of luck. The committee said we were the last interview of the day. The committee is packing up already. Not if we have anything to say about it. We can't give up now. Scooby dooby doo. AJ grumbly tries to pull the door back, but it doesn't budge. He frankly shakes the handle. Let me in! Um, it's just a push door, AJ. It says right on the handle. Oh, of course. I knew that. AJ, you're, like, delirious right now. You've done enough. Leave the rest to us. And go to sleep! You march into the... Into the conference room where the two stern looking adults are packing up. What in the blazes was that all, all that screaming and rattling at the door? That was just the sound of our enthusiasm. It's our school's rally cheer. Rah, rah, rah. Yeah, we couldn't wait to get a chance to talk to you. You're too late. It's almost an hour after our cutoff time. You gotta hear us out, bro. Oh, our musical, our musical is next. Is in cri is in crisis mode. Yes, we read that soft story in your application. I'm sorry, but we're leaving. Wait, five minutes is all we asked for. I know it's too late, and you want to go home, but we just need five minutes. We're begging you. We won't keep you. Keep you a second longer than that. This is side tirely and and give each especially the five minutes might be faster than convincing them to go away. Fine. What can you tell us th those that we don't already know? It did not at you and Sky flips her laptop open and plays the proposal into musicals number. 
The judges raise their eyebrows as you take a deep breath, heart pounding as you gaze into Roy's eyes. My husband. saying my husband <clears throat> no no my blah blah then a i with a ch with a heart as willing as bondage and of freedom here's my hand and mine with my heart in it. and now farewell to our hands oh thank god Rory's face does whatever your words and she wraps you in a passionate embrace a thousand a thousand your voice tremble with emotion and ring out with a beautiful bell like clarity as they hammer that harmonize a judge wipes a tear from his eyes. Huh? Sky presses a key on her laptop, and the song smoothly transitions into another musical number. Casey, Aaron, and Caleb leap into action as you, you and Rory run to the side lights hand in hand. Oh, I see. This is a melody. Foul creature! If you couldn't hurt your swords, are now to match you for for your strengths and will not be uplifted uh, uh, uplift uplip up up lip what is wrong with me uplifted there I said it be quiet you be be you quiet monster don't you mean you be quiet monster doesn't that make sense Gareth yeah, struggles to draw his prop sword straining to heave its imaginary weight Meanwhile, Aaron manages to curse just to heave her sword from the ground and lunges at Casey. Be gone. Casey easily grabs Aaron's arm and flips it and flips her over for her back. My fellow mister, ministers are like invulnerable. Not bad. Okay, I'm pretty sure at this point it's five minutes past already. The trio makes way for the whole cast as they run into the fray, careful to avoid the chairs in the cramped room. Thunder booms from Sky's laptop as Jordan swings his staff, pulling you all into his charm circle. Eeks! Eek! Heavens me! I break my staff. I'll break my staff. Bury it in... Bury it in certain fandoms in the earth. And deeper than it then did ever plummet sound, I'll drown my book. Whether this be or be not, I'd not swear. The devil speaks in him. I shall be pinched to death. And the song crests to its cri I can never say these words, I'm sorry. Electricity thunders through the room once more as Jordan points his staff at them. Release me from my bands with the help of your good hands. Oh, you're asking us to clap. Indeed. Free my father of his sorcery, I beg of you. Then clap we will. The me gives you a tepid round of applause as you take a quick bow. I've never seen anything like that lightning staff. Cause like magic. Great. Well, well, we need your help that to show that magic is the rest of the world. To the rest of the world, and we'll be entirely grateful to you. We'll remember our, your generosity for the rest of our lives. I'll even write you Christmas cards every year from now. Duly noted. To your surprise, Sky steps forward, looking determined. There is not a more deserving cast and crew in the world f for this scholarship. They've become like family to me. The family I always needed. Sky. I want to repay Barry's drama department for all they've done to support me through this thick and thin. It wouldn't be an exaggeration 
say they saved my life. This trip will mean the world to us. Even if we don't receive this scholarship, I'll keep trying. I'll do whatever it takes to give them what they deserve. Just look at each other. Their expressions inscrutable. We've had enough. You're free to go. Thank you for your time. You're, you file out, out of the room, turning over the things you said to the judge over and over again in your heads. You guys make your way through the park, through the, th make their way through the parking garage. Support AJ as he wobbles along, drifting in and out of sleep. I wonder if I could have said anything different to sway the judges. They were so hard to read. Whatever happens, <laughs> you gave it your all. The music number mashup was an excellent idea, Sky. It was nothing. They didn't did most of the work editing the songs together on the fly. But the concept was all yours, stitching the emotional peaks of those scenes into a functional thriller of the musical was a stroke of genius. Sai looks away, but you see a small smile on her face. We're parked on the first floor, so we, so here we are. At least, at least until we meet, make a well-deserved pit stop for dinner and gas. I wonder if we can make it back home before midnight. You spent the rest of the evening driving back to Cedar Cove. When you finally get home, you collect into bed and, ins and fall asleep instantly. In the cafeteria the next day, everyone groggily picks, it, picks at their lunches, still yawning and rubbing their eyes. Roy, you jinxed us. I can't believe we didn't get home until 3 a.m. At least we made it in, in one piece. I could barely keep my eyes open toward the end. Now that all, th now that all that fairish adrenaline has once worn off, it's finally starting to hit me that spotlight probably isn't happening. I'll have to let the festival organizers know we'll be a no show. Tony, you must be disappointed about not meeting your aunt. It's okay. She didn't even bother to respond to us anyway. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. And she's from buzzes on the table. You hold your breath as he checks it. I received an email about the scholarship. Oh man, already? What's the verdict? Roy takes your hand and you squeeze it tight as AJ reads the email aloud. We are pleased to inform you that you have been selected as the Sears recipients of the the Meow Arts and Music Scholarship. Booyah! I knew we could do it. Why did I say it too long? Roy grabs you by the shoulders and kisses you hard. Thank God I could die happy right now. Please don't. At least not until after Spotlight. We did it. We really did it. Even without my parents. Take that. Tech's not useless. Not useless. Tech paved it the way for an awesome interview. That's right. Live your life, Sky. I'm texting Jordan and the others. The results this instant hope. Hopefully they don't choke on their meals in shock. We should do something to celebrate both us going to spotlight going to spotlight and sky's freedom. Now I don't think anyone now I don't think anyone's really recovered from our scholarship experience yet. Especially not AJ. No, like this weekend or something. And that's all the more reason we should go somewhere. We really, really deserve it. I could use some relaxation time away from home, like on a sandy beach or something. That sounds soothing, lying on the soft sand, glued by the ebb and the flow of the ocean waves. There's a perfect beach not far from that aquarium we visited. Why don't we go the beach? Why don't we go and seize the day? <laughs>
Can y'all ignore what I just did, please? No, thank you. Beat strip. I'm ready for a tropical escape. I doubt any area of the state can be classified as tropical, but it doesn't but it's a decent beach all the time. Let's get a good night's sleep tonight to sleep tonight to charge up for it. You don't need to tell me twice. I just wanna go and sleep for a thousand years. <coughs> oh, please. Maria picks up picks you up on Saturday morning and you all head to the coast. You run onto the warm beach, re releasing and the feeling of your toes sinking between the fine grains of sand. I feel all my stress melting away. Excellent. This beach is a, isn't crowded. No screaming young children in sight. Let's put up an umbrella stat. I already feel my flesh burning. Do it over here. Here's a flat spot. You smooth your towel next to Roy beside, beside you. Roy smears and there's sunblock on her arms and legs. Trying to help, help get sun, the sunscreen on my back. Only if you return the fan. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little hard reaching back there. I don't know if I'm particularly inflexible or what. Almost like a fair trade. With our powers combined, we'll be able, we'll be shielded from the sun. You squirt a dollop of sunblock onto your palm and draw a heart on Roy's back. That doesn't feel very evenly spread. You don't appreciate my note close to you. Not when I'm trying to avoid skin damage. Do you ob massage the uh, the lotion evenly into Roy's smooth skin. Why do females have smooth skin? I'm I'm pretty sure everyone has smooth skin, but I I'm not sure. Run your hands along the corners of Roy's back. Oh, that feels nice. I guess I needed a back rub. Uh-huh. Really, I don't really know how to, to give massages. I'm just rubbing your back randomly. Once you're all ready, Rory nods toward the shore. Last one in the ocean is a rotten egg. One, one, two, three, go. Oh. I wasn't ready. This is foul play. You and Rory hit the shoreline first. The tide comes rushing in, and the clear water flows over your feet. This is surprisingly warm. Obviously, in reality, which is me right now, it's cold. It's raining right now. Where I am. Rory. Rory wades into the water and streaks when a wave crashes overhead. She resurfaces, utterly drenched, laughing. I guess the ocean wants me. Under the sea. Under the sea. Hmm. Oh. You're very quick to accept your fate as a mermaid. You doggy pal pal toward Rory, but she grabs your arm and pulls you back toward the shore. Oh no, oh no, a shipwrecked human caught in the storm. Do not fear. Rory or uh, at Mouth to mouth resuscitation. If you take my drift. 
Interesting. You seem to be breathing pretty normally for someone requiring CPR. Uh -huh. Oops. I mean... <gasps> you close your eyes and dramatically go slack in Roy's arms. Tony, my sweet, don't leave me. Why are we, why are we doing this? Roy desperately presses a, your, her lips to yours, her arms tightly arms tightened around your waist, pulling you flush against her body. Mm. Roy, is Tony alright? What happened? AJ and Sky both jog up to the shore. Their looks of concern turn to disgust as they you and Roy are just kissing. Oh great, just what I wanted to see. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean, didn't mean to worry you guys. You know what? I can't even be mad. Your acting was very realistic. Keep up the good work. Speak for yourself. I'm lagging a sp splash war as revenge for scaring me. Wait, I accidentally swallowed some salt water earlier. Oh, you're already without any of your help. What's that, Rory? You want an enormous splash? No. After a wild splash fight, you put your hands on your knees and catch your breath. <sighs> I need a break. I may or may not have inhaled water up my nose. That makes two of us. Get yourself. I might join you once I finish fighting with Rory. Like Rory to the death here. Wait. What was that? Nothing. Me and AJ return to the shore. Once AJ's taken a gulp of water, he lays down under the shade of his umbrella. You good there? Almost. I still haven't completely balanced the sleep depth I occurred after pulling that all nighter. Here, I'll join you. I need to recharge a bit too. You were so funny in your sleep deprived mode. Let, let me in. I had. I am glad my suffering at least had some entertainment value. Do you know how they're awarding us to us the scholarship money? Personally, I'm hoping they send us a huge banner-sized check. I'm sorry to report they direct deposit it to the drama the drama department's account. That's exciting, but at least I won't get any weird knocks crash cashing it in and at the bank. Did I ever tell you how my hundred how my sister won hundred from three hundred dollars worth of Chipotle Wait, in a middle school raffle? Y'all have Chipotle in Cedar Cove? Or while I was just totally full of gift cards. Well they're gift cards. Every time she opened it, someone went went, you sure you sure love burritos, huh? You should have played it straight, it straight, and acted like the biggest burrito freak in the country. The average person eating three burritos a year is actually just a statistical error. Burrito case, you see. Who eats 10,000 a day is an outliner and should not have been counted. AJ doesn't answer. Yeah, hey, that was funny. Come on. You look over and realize he's sound asleep. <laughs> Bye, AJ. Ooh, a handful of sand over his arm. AJ's hand twitches, but he doesn't stir anymore. This guy tips those over. Wow. He's asleep. He's asleep. Like, he's sleeping like a rock. You a hand? As many as I can get. As you and, as you and the sky, I continue piling hand on top of AJ. Sleep, AJ sleeping for him. Soon, his whole body, except his head, is buried beneath the sand. He's a mount of sand. Good work, team. Can't wait to see his reaction.
What a way to wake up. Until then, let's go look for shells and weird rocks. What do you mean by weird rocks? Like mysterious glowing cursed looking amulets? You know what I mean, so... Follow sky along the sandy shore. There's so much kelp washed on shore. I keep thinking if I step in them, they'll wrap around my leg and pull me under. They look weird, but I've heard they're actually good for the environment. The beach in front of my family's Hawaii mansion is groomed to be spotless so wildlife can't survive there. It just looks sad and empty. It's almost like there's a link between unnatural and grooming and suffering. Shocker. You spot something crimson glinting in the sand. Sea glass. So smooth and round. I wish I must have sanded off the rough edges. It's such a deep ruby red. I wonder or what this original or originally was. Where have I seen that jewel before? In glass window? Maybe this was originally a pain for, for a blood droplet. How did it wind up in the ocean? Maybe they were playing baseball on side at the Colts headquarters and hit a, hit a home run straight through the stained glass window inside the headquarters. Maybe it was raining outside. You never know. Alternately, maybe the headquarters was just on the cliffside during a storm and the whole thing crumbled rolled into the sea. That's so dark. Rejected. Oh. Hand the sea glass over to Sky for her to admire. She holds it up, up to the bright sun, and cardinal flecks of light shine through it and pepper her cheeks and nose. You should keep it. The color matches you. I think I will. Maybe I'll make a necklace out of it or something. Suddenly you hear a distant yell, even Sky turned to see the source of the noise. On the on the beach, AJ flails his limbs trying to free himself in the mountain of sand you buried him under. Whoever did this is going to pay. I'm innocent, I swear. So you just happened to be walking by and had nothing to do with this? Rory's He's taking the Roy's taking the fall for our crimes. Sorry, Rory, your sacrifice is much appreciated. After hours pass, the sun sets and the beach air grows chilly. Before we huddle around the bonfire for one, we take a cold root beer out of the bucket, and Rory leans back in her chair. The crackling light dancing across her features. I can't believe the trip is happening and in less than a week. Back when the date was announced, that's forever away. And now it's right around the corner. It sure crept up on us. Not no, on me it didn't. I was paying attention to that looming deadline this whole time. I'm excited to finally show off the fruits of our labor at Spotlight. There's, there may be, there may even be professional reviews of our performance from critics. I'm, yeah, it'll be our first real vacation together, besides stage play. Rory you takes your hand and traces your palm with her thumb. Hopefully, the first of many. I want to go everywhere with you. I wonder if the hotel will have a pool and hot tub we can enjoy. I've never been more excited for a trip in my life. I never even stayed in a hotel without my family before. Me neither. Do a camps, yes, but never a real hotel. My mother is champ chaperoning, but she'll be staying in her own room, so I'll still count. We can get a metal bucket of ice from the ice machine, we can order room service. I'm getting deja vu from our 10 hour flight discussion. You bask contently in the glow of the flickering bonfire for the rest of the evening. Uh, 
Last night follows you and your friends head home, discussing the school trip all the way back. Two days before the trip, it's time for your final rehearsal before leaving for London. Now that Sky's parents are no longer funding the trip, we're referring all the changes they made, including the musical numbers that they voted. Yes, and yes, Mr. and Mrs. Crannell, eat your eat your heart out. With that in mind, let's run through the musical one last time. Places, everyone. As the final scene concludes, you all turn to AJ, sweat, your sweat beaded on your foreheads. What do you think, AJ? How was that? Not bad. I wouldn't be too upset if that's what we presented to the judges. Everyone cheers at AJ's lukewarm compliment. Does that mean we're free to go? Uh, actually, not quite. Oh, shoot. Let's take five. I thought we nailed it. But, okay. I skipped over some one thing. I'm sorry. As everyone disperses, you catch AJ smiling to himself before you leave the stage. We were that good, huh? That's not the only reason I'm in a great mood. Remember how I wished my mom and Jim would break up? Well, they had a row. They had a row this morning. What did they argue about? I couldn't make out the words from my room, but it sounded pretty heated. I'm hopeful I'm hopeful their history now, just in time for the trip. <laughs> I doubt it. They might have broken up. Oh, I thought he was alright. You seem good for your mom and my head. I was beginning to tolerate him, but whenever I think about that possibility of never seeing him again. It's like I'm three. It's like I'm three and someone gave me an ice cream cone. I couldn't uh, ask for a better surprise before our trip. Before you know it, your break is up. AJ claps for everyone's attention. Jordan, Tony, you're on again. Let's take it from Act 1, Scene 2, at Oh Woe well, the Day. Sure thing. Let's do this, dear son feels weird to call you dad when you're not acting, so I just won't. Shake your limbs out and take a deep breath as Aiden plays the scene back, back to the song. Oh, woe the day. No harm thee, be my daughter who art in ignorant of what thou art not knowing a suitor awaits your answer. Um, pardon, what suit, what suitor dost thou speak of? Refuse, you look towards AJ, expecting him to rem Jordan for going off. But he just waves at you, continue. More to know, did, oh, did never meddle with my thoughts. Tis time I should inform thee, father. Lend thy hand and follow me. Perplexed it, you take Jordan's hand and follow him to the center of the stage. The rest of the cast and crew run on stage surrounding you as they serenade you with an unfamiliar song. What in the heck are you wearing? A kinder, fairer young man the world hath have never known. What is you wearing? The hours now come t that thou danceth and enjoyeth pleasures reserved for royalty. Y'all are off script. What's happening? Rory steps out from the crowd and takes your hand. You, oh you, so perfect and so peerless, are created of every creature's best. Precious creatures, creature will thou attend be prominent with me. Will I go to prom with you? Yes. <laughs> I've been waiting months away for you to ask for months. Shouldn't you ask? Sorry to keep you waiting. This whole thing was a prom thing. Everyone cheers as you kiss Rory hard beaming. 
way to raise the bar for the rest of us. Sorry, but not sorry. Well done, everyone. Rehearsal is dismissed. You and Roy walk out of the theater, still holding hands. I don't want to leave your side yet. Me neither. It's so nice and sunny today. I actually heard there's a super bloom happening nearby. Oh, isn't it a once in a decade phenomenon? I've always wanted to see a super bloom in person. I keep seeing pictures on, you know, on Twitter and stuff. Me too. Not to give in into the hype or anything, but let's give in into the hype. Why don't we have a picnic? They're there to celebrate our going to prom together. Okay. Oh thank god, you said yes. I already made us sandwiches this morning. Are you serious? What would you have done if I said no? Sadly have them for dinner probably. Yeah, fair point. I would have them for dinner. You you sounded all casual bringing it up like you didn't have this all uh, planned out. I have to look suave somehow. Let's go. After a brief drive, you arrive at the natural reserve. You have to break it in a picnic basket from the trunk and survey your surroundings. It looks pretty normal so far. Did all the flowers die before we got here? Wait, I see something over there. Roy takes your hand and and you run run ahead into the field together. Yay, we're skipping along, yay! And stumble into a sea of yellow flowers. In Big Sky Country, this is where um, Juliet proposed, proposed to me. Well, my character, actually. It's like we're drowning in mustard in a romantic way. Mmm, mustard. Yummy. My cousin actually came here for her engagement photo shoot before the wedding. Oh! I was hearing people taking photos over there. Over there right now. It really is a popular spot. I saw a video the other day showing how far... How far... F f Jesus! Photographers mostly get the perfect shot. They're like splashing water at you and get you to get a sparkling water droplet effect. The photos you like that sounds fine. We can have one right now. I'll throw some petals in the air and I'll try to take a cool picture. I'm ready. Be careful. There could be bees here. Really there are some fallen petals. And grass and showers you with them as an unexpected gust of wind blows. Okay, with all the colors of the wind. Yeah. <laughs> the petals fly in your face as Rory snaps the picture. She bursts out laughing when you check the resulting photo. You look so panicked and blurry. The airborne flowers came out so huge and unfocused too. It looks like it looks like I'm being attacked by canaries. This is simultaneously the best and worst picture ever taken of me. Glad to hear Rory's photo studio has serviced another happy customer. It's legitimately so gorgeous here. If we do a group f prom photo, this would be the perfect place. Good thinking. I wonder if we have a good time too. Our flight back to the States arrives within hours of prom. That's more than enough, as long as we're not delayed by anything.
Why do I get the feeling that it's going to be delayed? Why? Why? He just. This is a foreshadowing. This is foreshadowing. This is literally foreshadowing the events. If, if it's not, then boohoo to me. If it is, if it is. I'm coming back to this. And in, and in fact, I'm going to. In fact, I'm going to take a picture of it just in case. Just in case. You're amazing. You're amazing juggling begin beginning class prison with rehearsing, by the way. Talk about multitasking. You make it easy. Half the time I was playing prom, I would have just imagine how I want to experience it with you. Like what kind of music do I want to dance with you in you two? Or what dessert do you do you think is tastiest? You spoil me so bad. <sighs> Thinking about prom right now makes me think of my prom. It ended horribly. Okay? I'm just saying, if you've seen my story video, then you know why. Then you know why I hated my, I hated my prom. I just hated it, okay? Everyone else is going to walk in and be like, why do all the napkins have have Iodor Tony printed on them? Oh, thanks for the new idea. Just kidding. <laughs> if that really happens, I'd... You get the... You get his own medicine. Unfortunately for, some, for you, I have absolutely no shame. And would be delighted. Jeanette, there's no shaming the shameless. Uh -huh. So stupid. I'm I, I, I'm sorry. I keep thinking about my prom. My prom. It's just so many things I could have done differently. You beam as Roy snaps a photo of you among the flowers. Even in a field of endless flowers, the most radiant thing here is you. You're too much. It's true. You have the most beautiful face in the world. Your eyes, your smile. I could just stare at you all day. That's so not true. You have the most beautiful face in the world. You just have to agree to disagree. I like that the I like that these are the ridiculous things we argue about as a couple. We're disgusting. Just the way I like it. We're such couples goals. Don't ever say that again. Please. We're such goals. We're goals. That, that's so... Ugh. Don't ever say that again. Ever. You shift the picnic bed... Uh, the, the, the picnic blanket in your arms as you continue down the trail. My arms are getting tired. No one told me carrying the stuff for a picnic could be so tiring. Uh, excuse me. There's not really... There's not really anywhere to have a picnic without blocking the trail. But there's a tree with some shade over, over there. Our salvation? Let's go. You lay the blanket down under the cold, cool shade of the tree. This is admittedly a lot comfier than the picnic that we had in the snow for Sky's birthday. That picnic was special in its own way. But yeah, I feel way less clumsy eating sandwiches without gloves on. My favorite sandwich in the world is ham and cheese. Always ham and, ham and cheese. I love ham and cheese. The deli sandwich. Mm. I, um, thinking about it makes me. Where he hands you a panini. <laughs> so don't you be a meanie. <laughs> I had to. From the picnic basket. Picnic basket. I'm sorry. 
I watch too much Yogi Bear.
Hey, I'm back. Sounds the sounds back. Good. Yeah. You guys saw already of everything of that happened for the past seven minutes. Yeah. I had to s yeah to screen record ev the last part with my phone with my phone. So, yep, this is still going for another hour. So I don't know. All right, let's continue. Spend the evening with Rory to relive your childhood and enjoy some romantic time together. Didn't we already do that? You are trying to waste my diamonds again. Wasting my diamonds again. Why do they always do this? Embarrassing childhood memories, here I come. Just let me get the essence of the... A sit into my luggage. I can't say these little words. Take your time. We all we have all night. After hastily squishing everything into your suitcase, you make your way next door. You trip over the two huge suitcases lying across, across across the doorway of Rory's room. Half of Rory's closet is on the floor. Sorry, my room is in chaos right now. I'm still packing the last of my stuff. You're playing you're packing that much for London? Playing a move there? And I thought I was bad. It's going. It's only going to be a week. But I need everything we. If we're going, if we use the t hotel swimming pool, you gotta have an inflatable ch pool, pool chair. Sure you do. You a plastic child's flute sticking out of Roy's open luggage. You need a recorder. What is this from? Elementary school music class. Yeah, what if the power goes out during our performance and we can't play the songs? If you'd play them on a kid's flute with zero practice, that'd be the most hilarious performance in history. In my head, it'd be more like a like a heroic heroic save. Miracles happen, Tony. Miracles happen. <coughs> <coughs> Jeez, I'm sorry. Anyway, I didn't invite you here to inspect my packing choices. Look at the second grade yearbook I found. Roy flips to the back of the book, every blank space, and... And Morgan is dense with messages and signatures. Wow, you've always been so, so popular. I remember, or mine. Always had room to spare. Oh. Oh, I see Casey's messages. Message it. Message. It's a masterpiece. She just wrote, have a great summer. Um, the E is supposed to, <sighs> forget it. And in a, it's spelled great wrong too. Have is correct, but great and summer are wrong. <coughs> Excuse me. And Inspector Billy drew a car. And there, and then there's you. You filled a whole page pouring your heart out to me. I hope you have a wonderful summer. You're missing an M. And full has one L. I like playing with I mean, in the tree. G. Tree hue. You mean tree house? You're missing an. You're missing an O. Okay, the U and O are backwards, and there's you're missing an E. With U, uh, you're missing an O there. What's with the four exclamation points? I want to be BFF friends. You're missing an I. Forever, please. You're missing an A. For please. Forever is all right. People do that. BFF friends. You're missing an eye. It's so redundant. 
best friends best friends forever friends forever BFFF it's, it, it's complete with a sharpie drawing of us holding hands surrounded by flowers I did all that It was foretold by each text. It can choose so exactly us holding hands in the in that super mode. Hey, you're seer? Quick, tell me if I win this when put the spotlight. Let me gaze into my mind. I mind's eye, I see a gleaming trophy. The ones holding it are tried by visions blurry being blurry. Um, so it's that's open to interpretation. A classic fortune telling trick. I'm something of a psychic, too. Look at this drawing I scribbled of us as an assignment. Rory pulls a crayon drawing from the pile of junk in her closet. It's the two of us standing on each wing of an airplane. Us going to spotlight. That doesn't look safe. Though. Oh, for sure, you have to admit we are traveling in style. Also, why are my eyes red? You're trying to say something about me? I didn't have any better colors. You return to the drawing to its stop atop the pile beside a three ring binder. You take a closer look at the binder. It's a, f it's a photo album. These pictures look ancient. That's from my first camera ever. For my parents. Let me have a phone. You can probably tell how, by how many are blurred and covered by my thumb. Let's look through it. I remember taking this picture. You point to a photo of Rory holding a beta fish in a tiny tank. Uh, the height of my sea creature face. Or fruit roll-up. When I, when he died, I had to flush him down the toilet. Same here. I had fish, I had, I had pet fishes when I was young. And they all died because I didn't know how to take care of fish. Apparently, when a tank's dirty, you have to take out the fish and then pour the whole thing out. Rise it up again. And, ugh. They died in dirty water. We get a fish every time and it ends up dead. Next time I get a fish, I'm gonna make sure. Make sure I get it next time I get a fish. I'm gonna make sure I. I'm gonna make sure I um. Take care of it properly. That's so stupid. That was stupid of me. Rest in peace, fruit roll up. His shirt life was a colorful one. I cried when my first fish died. I'm sorry. It's a photo of Mr. and Mrs. Silver trying to set a camping tent up. They both look so ha young and happy. Yeah, this was before my mom's first cancer diagnostic. I still remember how much energy she had to do outdoorsy stuff. She even tried to pick up parkour at one point. Why? Has anything new happened since the big conversation? As far as I can tell, things have gone back to normal. No more suspicious texts or sneaking out, thank goodness. Are you sure? Did we solve it? Because I feel like it's, it hasn't been solved yet. And are they... And it still doesn't answer the question. Was her father cheating on his wife? 
Jesus. Yeah, I'm gonna follow up you and Casey in the Golden Griddle's kitchen. Looks like you tried to make pancakes, but they're all burnt to a crisp. Young me is crying and uh, Casey's handing me a tissue. I was always a little jealous of you too. It gets lonely as an only child sometimes. It's like having an automatic best friend. I'm not gonna lie, but you missed out. After going through this... Go away! Jeez. Something popped up. After coming through several more pages, you reach the end of the photo album. Over already? That was short. My disposable camera could only take 28 pictures. So that checks out. It's nuts how far technology has come. Yeah. We could practically take unlimited photos on the spotlight trip. Go with our phones. Uh huh. We can have shared digital albums nowadays. Two. We should share our London's pics now afterward. I'm down. We each get twice the amount of pictures. We don't have that many cute couple photos of kissing. We can remedy that right now if you like. Take out your phone. Oblige with the with an impish smile. Rory draws closer. Um, shoot! Got one. My side profile looks so unflattering in that. Oops. Guess we'll have to try again. Rory kisses you, and this time, more passionately. Your lips pressed hard against yours. You kiss her back, hungrily pulling her close to your, to your free arm. About ten tries later, you tear away from Rory and glance at your phone, breathless. Oh, Rory, this one's pretty cute. It is, but we can do better. Come here. You lose track of time in Rory's arms. Eventually, there's a knock against Rory's door. You quickly jump away from each other as Mr. S Miss Silva pops her head in the room. <laughs> it's almost midnight, Rory. You've got to go, go to sleep or you won't be able to get up for your flight. You too, Tony. Oh, you're right. Our flight is at the crack of dawn. I need my beauty sleep, too. See you in a few hours. Yeah, see you in the morning. Head back to your own house, careful not to knock over Rory's huge luggage on the way out. At an ungodly hour in the morning, you crawl out of bed and drag your luggage downstairs. You and Casey yawn in unison as your mom sat I scramble eggs on your plate. Oh, we have to wake up in the early in the morning. I couldn't sleep all night in excitement. I'm so wired for the trip. Well, at least, well, you can sleep in the, on the plane. That's what I did once. I had to go to a family reunion. Same. It feels so weird to be out and about at this hour. It's still dark outside. When, when did, uh, oh yeah, right, the family reunion. No biscuit. It's not your breakfast time yet. Poor biscuit. He's so be wider that everyone's up this early. You and Casey's phones. And phones both buzz as you swallow a fork full of scrambled eggs. You rarely check your screen and then you choke when you see who it is. <coughs> when he texts us both at the same time? At this early? Hi, Tony and Casey. What? Oh my god. I figured you check your texts more often than your emails, so here goes. Sorry for the delay response. Your two emails both went to my spam and I only just saw them. 
I felt so guilty when I saw you followed up too. Yes, hi. Hello. You're real. Dude. Ma'am. It's so surreal talking to you. Likewise, I'm practically having an out-of-body experience too. Let me know when you arrive in London. I'd love to have you two over at my place. Yeah, our school is taking us tours and stuff. And then there's spotlight in a few days. But we'll let you know when we can fit it you in. Great, I'll be waiting. Ooh. You and Casey high five. Oh, wait. Guess whose meeting is not in London? I wonder if she'll be anything like we expect. Have fun. We'll miss you kids while you're gone. I won't. You two eat. You two eat so much. We'll save up. We we'll save on groceries. <laughs> That's good. That's a good joke. <laughs> Mom, all ready to go? Yep. We're all set. To have the trip of a lifetime. Next time on High School Story, you're leaving for London. Will the trip of your dreams go as planned? Why do I feel I'm so sure about this? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I had a few problems with this video, but it's finally done. Um, hope um, I will see you guys with more choices videos on Wednesday and those videos will be the first videos of the new year and um, tomorrow I'm uh, I may or may not do reaction videos we'll see we'll see if I don't see you guys tomorrow if I don't if you guys don't see my videos tomorrow some of my videos tomorrow then happy new year to all of you hope you guys enjoy this video make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Share this with your friends. Comment below what you think of the video if you want to be notified of all the videos I put up on my channel. Hit the notification button next to the subscribe button. I'll see you all in the next video.